Okay, so this is like a no-brainer video, but I want to make sure you understand there is more than one constraint. Under constraints, there is a joint, a hinge, a prismatic, and a pulley. To this day, I have never used a pulley. Um, the fact is, if I just add a pulley in here, and look at this thing, the pulley and the joint constraint look exactly the same. Okay, one's a little darker green, but as soon as you unclick it, bam, looks just the same. If you look under the pulley properties, okay, we have everything in here that is needed for a constraint to happen. So I set up this test scenario where, you know, I can delete this one and add this pulley. So the first time I will ever use a pulley on video, or ever for that matter, because I've never used a pulley. Okay, so I'm going to constrain that bad boy and let's play it, see what happens. Now you would think a prismatic constraint would be a pulley. Think about it. Okay, it's pretty cool. Still not sure what it does, but yeah, it's a cool constraint. Alright, so that's the pulley. Now, let's look at the better one. <laughs> So play around with the pulley if you want, you know, get an understanding of what it does, and if you find out, good luck with that, you did more than I did. Okay, so this is my favorite one. This is a joint constraint. So let's go in here, untoggle this, go back to it, and add that. and lock it, click on it, tag it, play it. So there we go. And this one just makes the light swing back and forth, back and forth. Okay, when I shoot it, notice how much it, it like, goes overboard sometimes like when I shoot it 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 just goes insane so I want to show you a few things in this video to counterbalance the fact that the pulley sucked and in here let's collapse the whole entire species on this constraint and let me go constraint and go to constraint setup what you could do in able to make it so it doesn't swing quite so bad uh, you can sit here and put the dampening up so here's the dampening let's say I put the dampening at like oh like 5,000 okay 5,000 on the dampening and the twist limit dampening 5,000 All right, so let's go over here and shoot at it. Okay, I can make it hit the ceiling again, but the rate at which it slows down is the dampening. Okay, so it's starting to, oh, just toggle back and forth, and it's starting to slow down and down. But notice it's kind of artificial. The one thing good about dampening, however, is if you have a movable light on a dynamic shadow like this, it actually works out quite well with the dampening. So I would highly suggest, if you have the movable light factor, to up the dampening a little bit, and then your shadows tend to calculate a little bit better. Alright, so that's it for the constraints, as you can get an idea that there is four or five constraints out there and they all basically work the same way. 
Uh, so, um, you know, as an assignment goes, um, put some constraints in here. Let's say you got a room. This would be kind of sweet. You have a room that's really dark, like let's say this one. Okay. Wouldn't it be kind of cool as when you hit the door, uh, the constraint went through the room, or you could shoot the light, and then the light followed you into the next room, and you'd have to do that to actually see what's what you're doing in that room. So that's what I want. I want some kind of weird setup, something something very creative with a constraint, and put a couple of them in your scene, and that you should be good to go. Let me see your results, and. That's it for the assignment, so enjoy.